Before you play two notes, learn how to play one note, you know, and that's, it's as simple as that really, and don't play one note unless you've got a reason to play it. The reason you're doing it is for the love of music, it's not to like try and get some kind of commerciality. Spirit of Eden, I, I kind of think that was very much like, in a way, where all those earlier albums were trying to get to me. And then having got there, I then think the important thing is that, you know, you either, you either just stop making records at that point because you've kind of reached what you were trying to get, or from that point, you, you seriously redress, you know, these other areas that you, that you go for. When you improvise and you play something for the first time, you kind of play it at its peak, and if, if you kind of like play something and then you think, oh, I, I like that, and then you replay it, you never quite get it. It's, it's like the thing of demoing. You know, if you demo a track, no matter how badly you try to demo it, there will always be a quality within it that you subsequently would try to recreate, which you shouldn't do. The thing with the vocal is, is just, you know, to, like, like you're saying, you know, treat, treat it like an instrument. It's not there to dominate. It's just there to sit in this kind of landscape along with everything else, you know, and, and it's kind of like start from a melodic point of view, then think about the kind of, inf you know, the kind of inflections that, that it should have sound-wise. In the same way, like if you're looking at a clarinet, at certain notes, there might be a certain kind of way you want to hear that note, that note, you know, sound. So when you write the lyric, you, you have that as, as an actual, you know, block that you must write to. You must write this lyric phonetically in order for it to sing with a certain way. And then you must write the lyric in a way that when you sing it, you're going to have belief in it. You take like the first track on that album, uh, Merman. And it was kind of like, okay, let's let's write a track here where no part of it ever gets repeated. You know, it's just totally a movement like this, rather than a, a, any recognisable song form. And then you move into like Ascension Day, and it, it would be like, okay, on on this one, across these three verses, verse one will be a ten-bar verse, verse two will be a nine-bar verse, verse three will be an eight-bar. Uh, and but the what you do as, as, as this thing is shortening up on you, vocally you've still got to hold it, but then what you do is you turn the onbeat onto the offbeat, and you have one person understanding the downbeat as being in this place in the bar, and the person playing next to them not even realising that's the downbeat at all, but seeing it as, it as the upbeat. So they, that, that, was, that was the main premise to that album, and again we continued with this, you know, free improvised form to me. The one thing that I, I did wonder about doing for this album was to get together with, uh, you know, somebody and make a film for this album. And that, that would interest me, but I don't think it, it would be much more a film along the kind of lines of you know, if you were sitting in a room and you were sort of like just looking at an open fire and you just have like this area of movement. I quite like things, you know, like, I, I, I like water 
as a form of movement. I think the walk has got great, great shape and motion to it. The ideal is, is that the album won't be recognisable as having come from any time, having been recorded in any particular year. And the fact that you're working with acoustics you help means you can't date. Ideally, the way to listen to it is alone, extremely quietly. I, I don't think you should ever push the volume level beyond the natural volume that the instruments would have been in the room. I like silence, I get on great with silence, you know, I, I don't have a problem with it, it's just silent, you know. So it's kind of like, well if you're gonna break into it, just try to have a reason for doing it. I can't, I can't imagine not playing music, but I don't feel any need to perform music and I don't feel any need to record music. I'm really quite happy just to play one note and just to hit it at different volume levels and just, you know, see how long it will resonate for before it stops. <laughs>